So personally, a guy like me wouldn't understand half of these things and what they're all about. I mean, guess what I finally found? Main control room. Watch this. Oh my lord. Let's step in. We decided to step into a nuclear power plant that was filled with several unexpected surprises. Wow. This is crazy. Like, I don't understand half of the meaning for half of these things are here for. I mean, I'm not like expert with like nuclear power plants or things like that, but <laughs> the fact that I'm standing one is actually really crazy. The nuclear power plant was a completed General Electric nuclear boiling reactor, though it was never put to actual use due to safety precautions concerning the land it was built upon. Wow. Can you imagine what was inside this? Look how big these things are. I'm just so curious to actually look. This is like amazing stuff to just to see. So like, I wouldn't understand where half these things are. <laughs> I'm sure all the workers who used to work here probably understand the majority of the things. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they should. <laughs> Can you imagine this place with people just running all around here and just working and working? This is so interesting. The fact that I'm also getting a lot of spy webs all over me as well. And 22. And this is like the most craziest thing. Look at all of this. This reminds you of like Half-Life. This is so crazy. They have like the entire like controls. Like this could be like secret codes or something. Like I just don't understand. Pre-coat tank, pre-coat pump. This is so cool. And if you look around, just look at all this. This is like a whole, like, I don't even know. Just take a look what I'm looking around at, guys. This is crazy. Okay, just, let's take a look around a second. Oh my god. This is honestly amazing. A guy like me wouldn't understand half of these things and what they're all about. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> look at all these things, they just go together. And I guess all the workers had to understand what every single thing probably meant. Or the certain departments. But wow. This is amazing. The public was opposed to the continuation of this power plant from incidents such as the 1986 Chernobyl disaster. Here's a cabinet associated with the room. So these are probably like certain other things that they probably worked with too. Don't know exactly what these cartridges are used for, but I'm sure it was something could have been important or not. Not entirely sure. Still pretty cool, I'd say. Water evap distill room. So I guess the water evap distill room looks like this. To me, this is just looks like a lot of pipes that go throughout the entire place. But for all experienced people with this type of stuff, well, leave me a comment in the description below based on what these things exactly are. Cause I'm per personally, I don't exactly know. Warning, contains lead, do not touch. There's a lot of warning signs all over the place. Wow, this is interesting. Several gauge pumps all over the place. What stuck out to me is that, caution, do not enter. There's even a chain that's blocking it. We're not allowed to go down there. What exactly could have been used down there before? As you guys can see, it goes farther down too with the ladder. I can only imagine people working on this entire place and this place just being fully active. Now as you look around, it's just so empty, it's crazy. So I'm gonna tell you what's really interesting. These are the things that sit around the entire reactor of the nuclear power plant. It's crazy. So basically while the electricity and everything is spinning, this is like what prevents it to come out from place. Just look at all over the place. <laughs> the interesting thing was that this place was never actually in use for a nuclear power, power work. So the thing about this is that not a casual regular person could come and work inside a nuclear power plant. I mean, can you imagine a nuclear explosive going off and like just blowing up this one area and just like destroying the whole entire part? This thing takes like a lot of like professional work and like knowledgeable people where in which a regular person can actually just come in and work in a nuclear power plant. Unless you're like a janitor or something. This is interesting. 
Then look up here, a ladder that goes all the way up. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's up there though. But elevation is 63 SW. Can you just imagine this place just being like active? It's so crazy just to like see a whole nuclear power plant inactive and not in use. I hear so much echoes in my own voice. Like it's so shallow, like a shallow feel because it's really just like these pipes that go throughout the entire place. But each of them has like a different function with them. I mean the way you work with them and the way you control these things. It's all different. Guys. If you look around the entire background area, this really reminds me of Black Mesa inside Half-Life. Like, it's just like a whole huge lab in this one area. Let's take a look around, see what we come across. I mean, we might find like the work or something that they're working on before, left all in this one area. Oh my god, check this out. So there's tubes all over the place. Uh, it chart record press? Don't know, but. There's just all random miscellaneous things just left right here. It's pretty crazy. They you look inside here, they have like these big huge tubes just lying over the place. Nothing really. But just looking around, it really reminds you of like a huge science lab, which is really sick. Oh my god, look at what's inside this box. There's just more like miscellaneous like office things just lying here. So this is like the real feeling of having like an office around your area. Let's take a look what's in here now. Huh. A lot of like random like mail things just left in one of this area. Warning. And just more miscellaneous things. But the thing that really stuck out to me, it looks like a huge science. Oh, look at this. I wouldn't understand half these things even mean. Could have probably been the working area, you know? To say, it's a whole new experience, like exploring a huge nuclear power plant. I mean, I'm getting like these whole new like insights of different things I'm seeing right now. Considering the fact that it's not an asylum like we would normally do. So all this is like new things I'm seeing, which is really interesting. Check this out, guys. This kind of key is lying all over. It kind of leads throughout the entire place. A few jingle things are right there. A construction hat for a worker who used to work here. I'm sure with like working these type of things, you need to have like a construction helmet, and then a journal or something. Or it could probably have been their like agenda of the day. Not entirely sure, but it probably explains like certain things of what to do. And we're just in like I'm just in like this huge area, really open space. It's just so huge. It's such a hassle just to explore. Considering the fact there's one amazing looking control room, but it's just so hard to find it. Let's keep adventuring on. Storage area, top of MSR, use caution. It just goes high up, all the way up. The thing about this place is that there's just so much zones. Zone three, four, one, two, clean zones. So you basically have to have a complete clean clothing while being in this one area. All right, so right now, <laughs> we are actually trying to find a nuclear reactor as well as a control room. I have a feeling that this might actually be the nuclear reactor. I'm just gonna climb the ladder and see what I could come across. All right, right here. <sighs> Damn it. All right, I'm up somewhere. Wow, I'm pretty high up now. To be honest, I have no clue what this thing is. I just got done climbing up this entire ladder. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it probably wasn't so safe to do, but I have no clue what this is all right here. 30th to number 14. Seems like it was labeled in some sort, unless there was somebody else just writing on it. But it looks like it kind of blends in pretty fine. You guys will be amazed. Basically, we're in like the highest part of it. And right here, looking down at this, I honestly think this is a nuclear reactor. Concerning the fact that on this side is concrete walls, and right here below me is also concrete walls. So right here has to be the nuclear reactor. Basically, this is probably where the people actually look down at it and probably work on it. But I, I know it works with like a lot of mo molecules and things like that, which is pretty interesting. It goes really into scientific terms. Personally, my scientific knowledge is not so high up, unfortunately, but 
this has to be it. I'm telling you guys. It's pretty interesting though. Like this is like a really, this is a really interesting step into knowledge right here. I wonder why this is, I wonder why there's so much danger right here. <laughs> you can't go down from this one side, I guess. Look at all the red thing lines just all around. So you guys won't believe this. We actually found an entrance to get inside the entire nuclear reactor. And look how the entrance looks. This actually looks really crazy. So basically this is the nuclear reactor. Like the way to get inside. This looks crazy. And just the way to enter in, oh my god. As you wander in, you actually get to see the nuclear reactor itself from the inside. Don't mind me, because I already stepped in here. The surprise is more for you guys. At least if you guys are surprised. But look at it. So this is a whole overview of inside where they actually work into it. Basically out there, what you're seeing was the actual nuclear reactor itself. This is basically the insides. They have different type of stages they call for it, but I'm not too entirely sure. I just know that this is a nuclear reactor. <laughs> And that's all that matters. It feels very unsafe to be stepping on where I am concerning the rust and everything, so please mind me on that. But wow, this honestly looks amazing. Just stepping over here as well. This is crazy. And then just, just looking at it. So here's another bolt looking type of thing. And it just goes all the way around. It's pretty crazy. Really exciting though. But that's really it. It's so crazy. I guess we're off to find the actual control room itself starting now. Guess what I finally found? Main control room. Watch this. Oh my lord. Let's step in. Oh my god. I can't believe the fact that I am staying in the middle of this control room right now. This is honestly so crazy. And just like, just look at this huge area. I feel so accomplished actually, just standing in here. Looks like somebody ripped out one of the areas right here though, but... You know, can you just imagine the people working here? Like, they probably fill up this entire place. I mean, I'm not sure if the monitors actually still look like that. I'm sure a lot of things kind of upgrade from the technology now, but versus before, this has been op this has not been open for a very long time. So everything that's in here is kind of just like sat as this, as if it was what it was, to be honest. But this is honestly amazing. This is honestly like mind blowing just to be standing where I am right now. It's so crazy. Wow. <laughs> I just I can't connect what any what everything does here, but just the fact of how it looks, it's just so cool. Oh my, oh man. Look at these, just knobs. Supply fan, supply damper. It just goes on and on. This basically controls the entire place that we kind of explored, like the whole control room of the, the entire place, which is really cool. You know what's also crazy? The fact that this entire place just has like paper all thrown all over the place. I'm not entirely sure what any of these papers are like meant for, but concerning the fact that it's the main control room, this is probably the way it had like the main paperwork all at right in here. And as you can see, look, it's just sticky notes all over the ground. It's like some huge thing happened where everybody had to evacu evacuate quickly and just threw everything all over the place trying to get the important belongings and just completely evacuate the entire place. I have to admit, it's honestly amazing to be standing exactly where I'm at right now. Considering the fact that I'm standing upon a whole nuclear power plant is kind of crazy. Like, you only see these in like movies, games, not even really anything like that. It's just like, you know, you wouldn't expect it to really exist until you actually set foot in it yourself and actually see how it really looks with all the control panels, the nuclear reactor, all this put together. It is so crazy. And considering like this, the skills and like knowledge you need to actually work here, it's pretty intense, but... Honestly, this is like one of the most mind-blowing explorers that I personally probably have ever done. It's pretty crazy.
honestly find this one area was like the main goal after entering from the first time we first just got in this one area like we knew about this whole control room through a lot of pictures that we've kind of found through kind of like you know previous people that we've seen that came here but like actually standing inside this place ourselves i'm gonna to have to say was probably one of the biggest accomplishments considering the fact that this place is a lot bigger than what i've actually anticipated so standing here standing right where i'm at now is honestly amazing I have to say this is honestly one, probably one of the most interesting explorers considering the fact that it's something totally different from what we would do normally considering the fact that we're standing on foot of a nuclear power plant. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in on this adventure and as exploring with John, I have to say we are out. Peace. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new to it. If you also enjoyed this video and be sure to check out my social media for any further updates. Let's Head out.